guys, it's me Tucker, and today I'm going to be doing a vacuum collection collection video. Um, so first, um, there's some new ones today. Um, so this I've been you've seen before is my Hoover Nanolite, and we'll turn that on for like five seconds. We're going to do that all. And then my Bissell Power Force Compact Turbo. Like you can see, those two attachments are my thing, but I have them. But I've cleaned it, as you can see. But when I was cleaning it, I had to put those two screws back in. And I pulled it, the thing up. And I tried to slam it with my face back because it wouldn't go in. And, and it's right there parts and yeah I can't see your new ones yet so yeah that's kind of sad and I will be changing my room so there's gonna be space hopefully I don't know if my mom will let me but first we'll start with this one so this it Hold on, let me move the old, or the other new one out of the way, so, you know, see it get. So, this. I, there's a vacuum shop there, and, um, someone just donated it, and they were going to recycle it, but they said I could have it for free. Now, it was missing the turbo brush. It was missing the dusting brush. It did have the extension rod and crevice tool. Um, the reason this is in, because I keep it up there now. But, yeah, it works. It has good suction and it works just fine. Let me get you the new one here. It has all the attachments that are missing from that and that. So, um, this is... I, oh, and also... Before you see this, I forgot to tell you the issues. So the next one was missing a belt. The belt was snapped, and it was missing like the thing that makes this go up and down. So I put it on the new one. Now this one is premium. See, here's the turbo brush from the compact, and the dusting brush from the compact, and extension rod and crevice tool from that. So, and the belt and the high adjustment wheels. So. I got this from my friend, um, well, not my, well, yeah, my friend, and it was the 4th of July, and she destroys every vacuum she has, literally, like, this, I had to save it, and she let me have it, so, now I got it perfectly working and everything, now it's time to turn these on for 5 seconds, because... I'm pretty sure my parents will not be happy about hearing a vacuum right now. So let's first start off with the Hoover. Let's get the loudest done. Just like in here for a second. If you haven't seen my other videos of this, when I vacuum my whole living room, yeah, it's pretty loud. It is a rare Hoover. It is old. Oh, I forgot. There's one more. It's this one, which I think is also there. Let me get it. Um, it's the Bissell, the older Bissell Clean View. Um, and I know it's rare because there's like none on mine. Okay. There's the Hoover Nanolite for five. I oh, and I also messed up. The brush roll control, so um, hard floor is carpet, and carpet is hard floor. Now, okay. <sighs> See, it's all grangy loud. It's pretty loud. That's why I never really, I don't want to use it so much because I don't want it to die so fast. It's, it's a nice guy takes message out of it. It's just my mom asking me questions. 
Okay. So that's the. Oh, and this was trash picked. I like the handle a lot better. Okay. Um, let's do this week pack for compact turbo nets. That is literally the only the only attachment it has right now is the crevice tool. Um, I have to lift it up or else it's going to lay on the hard floor because the wheels are missing from it. Just in case it's on from when I stripped it out, I'm going to keep it. Okay, five seconds. There we go. If I left it on, it would shake the whole thing. Okay. And it did shoot out dust, which is weird, because I cleaned it. Oh well. Okay, next we're going to do the clean view. And the best little clean view that I have. Oh. This was store bought. This was, I, I want to say trash pick. I want to say it's off because it has a nice old switch. That's why I love this thing. Okay. On off. It sounds a lot different. But I don't really care. Okay. Now, so this was basically trash pick. Rewind pet. I think it's supposed to say pet on here with a sticker because there's the pet brush, but obviously it was missing when I got it. Like everything else, I hope it's not on. Okay, the switch is on the handle. I like that, but I don't like that you can't see it. So, that one's kind of quiet. I like it. And yeah, so this is my daily driver. Even though the belt's bad on it, I don't really care. It still works, it performs, I think, okay, because the same belt that I just saw on this one. Now, I want to see if these are the same lengths because I don't, this one pass brush roll really helps. I really like it. I don't think I could switch them because this head's a little bigger. I don't know. I the one pass just works so much for me. Um, this one's like so premium. It's got rewind, triple action brush. Um, it's got a filter indicator right there, but you can't see it. It got a nice lightweight design. I can even pick it up with one hand. Um, you got the nice switch up on the handle, so no bending down. Even or no foot thing. Well, I still got a foot thing for this. Um, yeah, I really like it. I also like the color. The color looks really nice. Um. It did smell bad, so I switched filters with the one I don't really use. I also switched the hoses because she said she loved to use the hose on this. And she did because it's super stretched out. So I switched it with that one because this one got like no use out of it and it's not even that stretchy. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you how... I keep my where I keep my vacuums in my room. Okay. So first okay. there's two that go on my dresser. And the ones I don't really use anymore. So first what I do for the this all clean view, the one right here is I would take off this brush. These just are coming out so easy. And 
they are. I take off the handle and I drop the screw. So there's a little hole. Well, not hole, but they just stay down there. And then you're like, well, then you gotta put on the handle. <coughs> it don't fit. So what I do is just lift it up. Well, yeah, I lift it up and I toss right here and it sits there. And then for the com and then for the compact, I move this. This one is short, so goes there. Make sure leaving a gap, and then I put my Polaroid back. And then you're like, well, where do you put the handle? Er, right here, just in the middle. And then for the Uber Nano Light, since I love it and it's a rare vacuum. We got a new flag, so I took the old one and put it here. It sits right by my American, right under the American flag, because I love it so much. Along with this one. And this one will fit right next to the Hoover Nanolite, because oh, it has been for the night I had it, so. I'm just popping this bad boy in here. Now there are some in the basement and like I said one in my closet which I'll show you that I am not gonna show. Um I also trash picked a Hoover Wind Tunnel 3 and a yeah that was it. And then here's the Bissell Clean View. I think it's rare. I can't find any of them online. Um so yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye!